Hello friends, welcome back to our channel UI Path by Sujita. In this video, we are going to see uh, the major differences between sequence and flowchart. So that end of this session, we'll get some knowledge when to use sequence and when to use flowchart. Fine. So quickly take a notepad, uh, notebook and pen and please make uh, notes at least the key highlights of this session so that it will be easy for you to refer it back whenever it is needed okay so what is the difference between sequence and flowchart fine what is the sequence first of all sequence is a workflow in UiPath studio where it is suitable for linear process okay now let let us quickly make a note of this workflow is suitable for linear process okay whereas uh, linear in the sense the executor will go from one activity to another so that way it will be linear in the sense this one next this one next this activity like that it will get executed whereas the flow chart Flowchart is also a workflow which enables us to use different branchings. So let me put this way. Let me put this way. Presents which presents multiple branching logical operators okay so uh, these, these are like both sequence and flowcharts are reusable sequences can be reused in any other workflows say for example flowcharts or straight missions and all whereas flowcharts cannot be reused back in sequence okay reused in any other workflows can be reused in other workflows except in sequences <clears throat> we can say that even in sequence we can call this flowchart as one more uh, activity one one more uh, process okay we cannot keep this except so both can be reused in other workflows okay coming to sequence before that i'll explain this flowchart first flowchart actually can be used in a complex business process can be used in i can say like used in complex business process now here we can guess it right we, it can be used in simple business process so uh, let us talk about an example what is a complex and what is simple business process getting some information from the user say for example uh, getting the first name last name and full name or age um, uh, what to say <clears throat> the expectation salary or hike expectation all these details will go one by one right so that is something called a simple business process whereas after considering this of after collecting this data from the employee it needs to decide uh, to what to say which role to be assigned based on the experience or uh, uh, we under which um, uh, what is in, in under which team we are supposed to move this candidate based on the skill set or under which scale this uh, particular salary is considered so based on the salary so these kind of uh, uh, logical business process comes under complex so in that way we can differentiate and we can decide what piece of code in the complete project needs to be and handled under sequence and what piece of code can be handled using flowchart okay so let me give the same example here so i can give it as example 
selecting employee data so it will go in a sequence like one by one so we will we'll select like for example first name last name right uh, experience and so on right etc now let us consider this flowchart so as I said making decisions making decisions based on the collected data right and navigate to required branch branch of activities based on the uh, output of the decision okay so this is the main difference between sequence and flowchart now let us look into one more difference that is sequence actually executes in a um, sequential way linear way right that means the activities if suppose some five activities are present in a sequence how they are get uh, how they are connected it, it will be one after one right activities are collected one after one in a sequential way let me okay i can reuse the same just just hold on <clears throat> let me format this part perfect now it is clear right so activities which are uh, i mean activities are connected sorry activities are connected one after one so one after one in a sequential way whereas flow charts in flow chart activities are connected based on the uh, logic so uh, so based on the decision the activities can be connected in different ways so uh, instead of saying different we can say like can be collect, uh, connected in multiple ways so I'll let you know how, how this say for example I have a decision operator where based on the salary um, it needs to go for a scale 1 or scale 2 so that means the activities from first activity to next activity it can uh, connect in a different way right if it is yes it goes in uh, it goes and connect to some other activity if it is no it goes to some other activity so that way multiple ways of connectivity uh, um, connections is possible <clears throat> in flowchart okay i hope you got the difference fine now let us look into the other uh, important thing uh, in sequence it's so simple actually we can say like sequence as soon as we talk about sequence this should come in mind like shootable and simple or small projects we can say consider projects or jobs because uh, a piece of uh, code or a piece of automation can also be considered as uh, uh, I mean can, can also be accommodated using sequence for reusability so the job is nothing but a piece of uh, automation okay so now uh, flowchart you can guess right shootable yes shootable in large or small projects or jobs because I as I said flowchart can also be reusable into other workflow right so that that way these both fulfill the concept of workflows mainly to accommodate <coughs> uh, uh, the jobs to reuse in the entire projects right so let us see in real how this 
looks like whatever we have discussed so far sequence is what it will be in a linear linear process right so let us take a sequence uh, just just open your UiPath studio and also you you can find the sequence if you create if you want to create a separate sequence you can use this sequence and give this name of the sequence and flowchart also the same way also you can use the sequence activity so that you can use it as a child activity in a, another workflow okay so the same way flowchart is also available in activities so that you can use it as a <clears throat> child in another workflow so let us look into sequence first so i'm what i'm going to do the same example we are going to take uh, uh, some input from the user right say first name last name and then experience okay so the, this is nothing but sequential way and what i'm doing i'm just saying like first name first name please okay so value entered will be like okay st or first name same way last name fine Last name, please. Control K and S T O. Last name. Same way. Let us collect the information on the experience as well. Experience. Yes. Fine. Let me use Control K experience okay so if, if you see this the complete activities all the activities inside the sequence this is the outer container which is a sequence right or connected one after another so this is called linear linear process that means the executor will execute the first activity later it moves to the second activity next third one after the other shall we run this yes let me run this run file say it is prompting for the first name say let us give Sujita. okay then last name yes maybe experience okay so that way it has executed the activities one after the other in sequence. So now let us look into the flowchart, how the flowchart works. Okay, so as soon as you create a flowchart workflow, by default it will have a start activity, start node. See? So now let us consider the same input dialog and let us take the experience. So let us use experience. Experience please. Right. Let us use experience I can say int so now the decision the business uh, 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 process how, how what is the logic here what we are going to use is based on the experience we are supposed to provide the role okay so let me quickly move uh, this variable from string to int fine and also the outer one okay fine so now concentrate here based on the input which we have taken i'm going to decide i'm going to apply a logic here business logic here say based on the condition if experience
end experience here. Let me copy this. Right. Let me open this. Okay. So end experience. is greater than 20 okay so if it is greater than 20 what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a right line activity or a message saying promote it to manager Okay, let us see. If suppose it is not true, then consider as a just, just for example. Okay, now see. The activities are connected in multiple ways, right? Later, if, if I can uh, consider one more uh, switch case where I'm going to uh, uh, consider some two or three positions based on, say, suppose the experience is from one to five, it, it is as a senior developer and five to ten, maybe it is as a module lead, something like that. So four to five uh, 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 positions I can consider. So if you see the workflow here, all the activities been connected in multiple ways, right? The executor will, will consider, will execute the activity based on the output of the logic here, right? Output of the condition. So it doesn't mean that it, it, it has to execute all. According to the condition, according to the output of the condition, it will decide and execute that particular piece of code. So instead of this message box, I could use a sequence, a steps of, uh, I mean, uh, a, a branch, a bunch of activities which are in a sequence, right? So this is how the flowchart will be. So now let us quickly recap what we have learned in this session. So sequence versus flowchart. Sequence is a flow workflow which is suitable for linear process. Whereas flowchart represents presents multiple branching multiple branching logical operators. Sequence re, can be reused in any other workflow. Similarly, flowcharts can also be reused in other workflows. Sequence is used in simple business process, example, collecting employee data one after the other. Same way, flowchart is used in complex business process. For example, making decisions based on the collected data, navigate to required branch on, of activities based on the condition, right? Sequence, active in sequence, activities are connected one after the other in a sequential way. Whereas in flowchart, activities are connected in multiple ways. Just now we have seen that. And sequence is suitable in simple, small projects or jobs, whereas flowcharts are suitable in large to small projects or jobs. Fine. I hope you got a clear information on the difference between sequence and flowchart now. So if you like this video, give a like and share with your friends and colleagues. Meet you through our next videos. Till then, happy learning and happy automating. Bye-bye.